Hi everyone, Ian here, Mandershide Media. Today we're gonna to talk about the differences between this Roadrunner and that Roadrunner. So we're just getting set up here at the Bruno Car Show here. And it just happened, had the chance to get both cars side by side along with this one and that one. So we have lots of Roadrunners to pick from, but there's only one Superbird. So I wanna show the differences between the Superbird and the Roadrunner. So obviously the first thing you're gonna look at is the nose cone. Clearly we don't have one here. So nose cone is obviously probably the most pertinent along with this big ginormous wing here. Again, super bird only. But some of the, the small factors here that if you're at a glance, you'd never really know. This back window is probably the most overlooked if you're just walking through a car show and don't know what you're looking for. These special diamond pieces here are filler pieces. These again are original, but obviously faded a little bit, but these are uh, special super bird only. And this back window is flush mounted for aerodynamics for NASCAR. So let's go look at this one. No diamond pieces. And we have this kind of a whoosh in the bottom stainless. And we have inset in this area. So this again at 190 or 200 miles an hour is going to have some turbulence where the Superbird does not. And you'd have to drive one to fully understand. But I mean, visually you can see it. Now, all Superbirds came with a vinyl roof, an all-black vinyl roof. Couldn't get them any, any other color. Now, the, the idea is, or the rumor is, if you have an original one, the um, vinyl roof will say NASCAR underneath it, and you will have probably primer underneath. There won't be paint because they were making these cars so fast that they didn't have time to paint them, and it was a waste. If you look at any Daytona, none of them have... Uh, vinyl roofs because they had more time to produce them so the superbird in its rudimentary uh, version yeah the door gaps aren't great and nothing fits maybe a hundred percent but they were making them as fast as humanly possible just to make it for nascar and here too because we have that flush mounted back window there's actually a plug in here and it would be let's say this wide and it goes all the way around to make this window flush so if we were to take and look underneath you might be able to see that structure in there where on this, uh, these other three Roadrunners, you're not going to. Now the other thing, because we have this big old wing, okay, so we have this wing, the trunk doesn't open as high as the other Roadrunners. There's actually these factory blocks welded in there so the trunk doesn't open higher. So again, another special feature, of course. And one of the last ones in the front end here, so we're looking at the marker lights here. We have a chrome bezel around the front. Now these were used 70 coronet along with the, uh, <coughs> along with the hood here and, uh, and front fender. So on this one, we have no chrome. The Roadrunner was actually a lesser trim model. So there was no chrome around. And so when you look at the front of our Roadrunner Superbird, we have chrome if we look at the back because it's roadrunner no chrome crazy yeah so when we're yeah when we're dissecting these cars the scoops on top of the fenders obviously that's for super bird only but these are those subtle subtle differences you couldn't get the side stripe on a super bird the only thing you could get was the big plymouth and the and the uh, big decal on the wing which when you see the wing and the nose, 